picked the wrong day too, huh? The faculty retreat doesn't start till tomorrow. <laughs> it went in your mouth? In, in right straight in. Oh. Mmm. <laughs> that is good. Oh. Wow. We say, uh, one more? Yeah, I get, I... Jack, this thing between us, I, I can't deny it anymore. I, uh, I don't know what you mean. I must have you. The upper peninsula winds whipped against the windows and the fire roared as the two men wondered, would this be the night their forbidden passions became reality? Durbin inhaled Jack's hot Twizzler breath, moaning quietly as he inched closer to his supple lips. Durbin wouldn't do that. His quiet reluctance is part of his character, and the Twizzler takes us out of it. I'm experimenting. What are you guys doing? Nothing. We're shipping Mr. Nothing. Griffin and Principal Durbin. So you write romance novel stories about them, because that'd be funny? It's about pairing people in power. It's essentially fan fiction, but we write them about the teachers. Can I play? You can't just play. There's a lot of world building involved. Listen. Blackjack Griffin couldn't remember the last time he'd had a bath. Couldn't remember what it felt like to have a naked body pressed against his. That was all about to change. Or so he thought. Whiskey. There's only one rule in the Old West. Talk straight, shoot straight, walk crooked. Thought you were dead. How many times I gotta kill you? Principal Durbin said. Well, it doesn't seem like he'd go by that there. I don't know his first name. I'm sorry I shot you, J Jerry. I felt bad for that prostitute. Nah, I get it. I was acting funny because my horse thieving wife had gone and got herself hanged. And I didn't have no one to touch. I reckon everyone needs the warmth of someone else's body sometimes. Or else, or else they die. Blackjack, don't. Oh. Now you're shy. Durbin found himself taking refuge in his embrace, hiding in its comfort. Okay, I, I get it. Let me try. Mr. Griffin knew exactly what he was doing when he pulled the brown cardigan out of the drawer. He was the kind of man who hid what was broken in himself under three days of stubble and a wrinkled shirt. Like these things would make his pain into a joke. Make him into someone who didn't feel pain at all. But Principal Durbin wore his pain on the outside in a starch collar and a belt that matched his shoes. The kind of pain that begs to be looked at, caressed. They were the same in a way, men like that. They reach a point where there's nothing left to talk about. All you have is a heart beating so loud and so fast, you wonder if everyone can hear it. And you wonder if, just maybe, what's broken in him might make a home for what's broken in you. Wonder if the man across from you is thinking about pulling you down on the sturdy wooden desk between you. She's good. All right, everybody. Shush it. I got tricked last night. Yeah, I want everybody to line up and uh, take a bite of this. And tell me if you think they were correct in calling this mild, because I think it's too hot. It's too hot. Faculty and students, I have just been informed by the Toledo Weather Federation that we are officially in a tornado watch. It's coming, it's coming, it's coming! I need all teachers to take their students to the gym, auditorium, or a hallway with no windows. We are officially on lockdown. It's definitely too spicy, Mr. Griffin. Ugh.